RFK Jr. is not who you think he is. It pains me to say it, but he's a dangerous nutcase. He claims to want to heal America, but his vision for our future is tainted by his endorsements of hateful conspiracy theories and the fact that he is being funded in large part by donors aligned with Donald Trump. It's time to lift the curtain on a campaign based on false, irresponsible, and self-contradictory claims. RFK Jr. repeatedly promoted a right-wing conspiracy theory that chemicals in the water are turning people gay or transgender. He suggested COVID-19 was a bioweapon mysteriously designed to spare Jewish people. COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and Black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and, uh, and Chinese. He spent years spreading anti-vax lies. I see somebody on a hiking trail with a carrying a little baby, and I say, I'm better, I get him vaccinated. And in his 2021 book, RFK Jr. alleged with no plausible evidence that Dr. Anthony Fauci performed genocidal experiments, sabotaged treatments for AIDS, and conspired with Bill Gates to suppress information about COVID-19. These are not the words of someone who is serious about leading let alone healing this country. Having once worked for his father, Robert F. Kennedy, and admired his uncle, John F. Kennedy, I'm disturbed to see Robert F. Kennedy Jr. speak this way. The Robert F. Kennedy I knew would never have suggested that a deadly virus was targeted at certain races. And as president, John F. Kennedy signed the Vaccination Assistance Act in order to, quote, achieve as quickly as possible the protection of the population, especially of all preschool children. If not for his illustrious name and role as a potential spoiler, RFK Jr. would be just another crackpot in the growing pool of fringe politicians. It's no coincidence that he shares top backers with the likes of Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene, where the Trump allies Roger Stone and Steve Bannon encouraged him to run in the first place. But the Kennedy brand is political gold, and it could pull away just enough sympathetic voters to tip the race toward Donald Trump. Democracy won by a whisker in 2020. Just 44,000 votes in Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin decided the outcome. If RFK Jr. or any third-party candidate peels off just a fraction of the vote from Biden while Trump's base stays with him, they will deliver a victory to Donald Trump. If Jr. had any respect for the principles his father fought and ultimately died for, he would withdraw his candidacy immediately.